Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Tyler Mount, and you're tuned in to the Tyler Mount Vlog here on the Marquee Channel. My guest today is a Broadway veteran and currently starring in Dear Evan Hansen, breaking in a glove eight <laughs> times a week at the Music Box Theater. Please welcome Michael Park. Yeah, canned applause. Is that where we have canned applause? Yeah, absolutely. It's just like you and me clapping. Um, <laughs> welcome to the Tyler Mount Vlog. I'm glad to have you. Thank you. So it goes without saying that Dear Evan Hansen has turned into quite a global phenomenon, yeah. right? Um, how's the show changed and morphed since opening on Broadway? When Ben was in the show, it was, you know, it was Ben Platt's vehicle and, and everyone knew it and everyone kind of wanted Ben to reach the goals that he had set in mind. And they were they were unspoken. This was an unspoken thing. And then, of course, when Taylor comes, uh, comes in, it just, the show opened up in a way where people weren't just watching one person. They kind of were, they, were, they noticed everyone else's storylines. And that's when we, I, I think that's when we really were able to kind of ground ourselves in our characters and kind of explore a little bit more. With the advent of shows like Hamilton and Dervin Hansen, your show has such an incredible and loyal fan base. It does. How has the show had an impact on its audience, do you think? Well, I think it's, it's evident in the stories that we hear and the, the letters that we get from uh, teens that are really going through it. And adolescence, I've said this before in, in many interviews, that adolescence really sucks. It's a really tough time. So to, 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 to see and to hear the stories and to be able now to articulate, it's going to be okay. Obviously, Darren Hansen is a story about fitting in and the lengths someone will go to find acceptance. Yeah. How do you, as a human, as an artist, identify with the character? <laughs> well, when I was 11 or 12, we had a talent show. So I sang, I Feel Pretty, dressed up as the Wicked Witch of the West, mm -hmm. in this very conservative town. I ended up winning the, cost, the costume contest, but I was ridiculed beyond belief I had this great network of, you know, cousins mm -hmm. and family members. Right. I always had this, this um, unconditional love and support from them. So right. that's how I dealt with it. For your audition for Dervin Hansen, did you as well dress up as a witch? <laughs> and sing I feel pretty? It's amazing. I did. Yes, I did. And Michael Greif was role. just like said he didn't even let me leave the room. He said. There's our Larry. Here's Murphy. a pen sign. Before you leave today, I have a question that I have my own opinion on, and I'm dying to know someone in the company's opinion as well. Sure. Okay, so do you, as someone in the show, think Evan is a good guy, a bad guy, or somewhere in between? I don't think Evan is a necess is is a is a is the bad guy in this story. Yes, he makes some really questionable choices. But I think at heart he makes them for the right reason. I agree. We're totally aligned. I want wait, tell me, give me give me the opposite give me the opposite argument. No, though. I mean the opposite Someone argument. Someone give me the opposite no, argument. I mean like I think the opposite argument would be um, exactly what you just said, just forgetting one key element, which is the yeah. fact that he was doing it for the right reasons. Uh -huh. Anyone could argue the idea that you were completely fictionalizing a friendship, fictionalizing <laughs> an entire experience you had with someone to um, perpetuate your own self-interest. Yes, but he attempts to tell them the truth in the principal's office. Right. He tells them this wasn't written by Connor. Correct. I'm sorry if I'm giving too much away for those of you who haven't seen it, but you've had two and a half years. You've had two and a half years and it's not our fault. Would you say uh, Jean Valjean was the villain or the, or the hero? In Aladdin stole a loaf of bread. There you go. We're not perfect people. Okay, Michael, before you leave, yes. it is time for my favorite part of the show. It's time for a segment I like to call, Get Your Ass There. Here at the Marquee Channel, we support the arts, and as a member of the community, we want you to take 45 seconds to tell our audience something they should immediately go out and see. The only catch is it can't be anything you are involved with. Go. Hades Town. I saw it downtown with Chris Sullivan and oh, well, who's not in it anymore mm -hmm. now. Andre De Shields is in it, so I can't, another reason to go see it because he's a legend. Patrick Page, legend. Amber Gray, soon to be. Le I mean, just a legend. Mm -hmm. And those voices are incredible. The story is really hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get it? Hades Town. It was dope. <laughs> Hades. Satan. Hell. Also, I I, uh, I I love Be More Chill. Number one for Will Rowland. Yes. 
I, I love me some Joe mm-hmm. Iconis, yes. and I really love uh, uh, George Salazar. So there, was that 45 seconds? That, that was a little bit more, but we're not suing Good. you over it. It's Good a big deal. All the air time you want. <laughs> we'll just edit it right on down. Edit you right on out. Be sure to catch Michael's performance in Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway. Tickets available now at DearEvanHansen.com. And as always, be sure that you're following the Marquee Channel on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Marquee Channel. But most importantly, be sure to click the subscribe button right on down there. Until next time, I'm Tyler, reminding you to give love.